I would say I, I come from a very academic uh, uh, background because my university gave me the kind of very strong basics of business. But the MBA gave me reality and, and this ability of seeing things from different angles, always trying to see the angle of the other party, I think is what I, you learn in an MBA, which is invaluable in, in life. You realize it later, but it's invaluable. When I wake up in the morning, I have to say, uh, I am excited by the, uh, by the fact that I know that during the day I will meet uh, very interesting and very diverse people. Vodafone is a very diverse company. We are truly international. We are based in the UK, but we don't have a home country really. We have uh, you know, operations every 30 places in the world and uh, the diversity of my colleagues, the different ideas, the different ways of looking at things are intellectually uh, very, very fascinating. I am, uh, uh, my wife would say that I am uh, too much, always on. I am personally always on. I, I, I turn off my phone only when I'm uh, many time zones away and I really need to sleep uh, or when I'm in the water, physically in the water. But in any other situation, I always have uh, access to data, access to my contacts and everything else. And I find it uh, contrary to some perceptions and people say, oh, but this is horrible. You don't have uh, uh, personal time. And I actually say it's exactly the opposite. I have the luxury that I can be where I want and eventually follow up business from uh, uh, wherever I go. I mean, last weekend I've been in a beautiful place in the Italian Alps, cycling with friends. And, uh, and still I have done a lot of work uh, during breaks and during uh, uh, and during uh, uh, the time where I, and I couldn't have done it uh, five years ago, not, not even ten. Five years ago it would have been impossible, I should have stayed in London and instead I have got a perfect, uh, a perfect uh, uh, sport time with some work in it. The transition from manager to leader is, uh, uh, takes time, uh, it's, a, uh, uh, it's mostly uh, a transition on uh, making sure that the goals are clear as opposed uh, to making sure that the actions are clear. When you manage, you like quick and short feedback times and uh, you have the opportunity to uh, make uh, uh, changes or corrections if things go wrong. If you have to lead, you really lead other people. So the goals and the common achievement becomes very important and you have to learn that sometimes you have to delegate the actions to somebody else. And it's something that is not totally natural to the human psychology and, and you have to learn and sometimes you have to just uh, practice it. I think a CEO is the captain of a, of, a, of a ship and takes the ship from one place to another, receives the ship from the previous CEO, has to bring it to the next uh, harbor or the next uh, port and then uh, another one will take it to the next. So it's a long trip. And your job is to make sure that uh, you, you really uh, prepare the company in terms of people and in terms of assets uh, in the best possible way for the trip. And, and I mentioned on purpose people and assets because uh, uh, these, especially these very large companies uh, are really never exclusively based on right people and never exclusively based on right business decisions. The two things uh, influence themselves a lot. I allocate my time uh, uh, I would say probably 50% of my time uh, in a regular basis, on a regular basis, and 50% of my time depending on what I need to do or is more urgent or is more important. Um, in, in, my, I mean, in my job, you can interpret the job in many ways, and I interpret it one third is strategy, one third is business, commercial, and one third is people. This is basically uh, the allocation. And then, of course, you have to balance internal and external. But uh, I, really, I really believe in balanced CEO's roles. I don't believe in pure strategists, or at least I am not a pure strategist, but I also don't believe in a CEO who does only operations. So you need to balance the three aspects. I am full of admiration for people who in politics, in, uh, uh, in sport, in, uh, in the academic world are able to see these continuities and to convince people to follow them in these continuities. We are at Vodafone and in our industry facing this big discontinuity of the ubiquitously permanently connected world, how to prepare ourselves 
uh, to that uh, and how to lead people into that is, is a great thing. I see in other sectors there have been fantastic changes and transformations. I always look at leaders who uh, have been able to lead their people through those changes and in a reassuring way, which is also very important.